He is known for being an American writer and novelist in the field of literature. Recognized for his contributions to the literary world, he received his B.A. summa cum laude from the University of Illinois and earned an A.M. at Harvard University. His name is William Keepers Maxwell Jr. In the small town of Lincoln, Illinois, on August 16, 1908, a literary legend was born. William Keepers Maxwell Jr. came into the world, the son of William Keepers Maxwell and Eva Blossom Maxwell. But tragedy struck at a young age when the 10-year-old Maxwell fell ill during the devastating 1918 flu epidemic. While he managed to survive, his mother sadly did not. With his world turned upside down, the young boy was sent to live with his aunt and uncle in Bloomington, Illinois. Despite the hardships he faced, Maxwell's passion for learning and writing burned brightly. He joined his father, who had remarried, in the bustling city of Chicago. There, he attended Sen High School, where he honed his skills and nurtured his love for literature. His dedication and intellect led him to excel academically, and he graduated with honors. Maxwell's thirst for knowledge took him to the prestigious University of Illinois, where he earned his Bachelor of Arts degree with the highest distinction, summa cum laude, in 1930. His outstanding achievements earned him the esteemed position of class salutatorian and membership in the prestigious Phi Beta Kappa Society. Not only that, but Maxwell also showcased his literary prowess as the poetry editor of the Daily Illini, the university's newspaper. His talent and dedication to his craft were evident from an early age. After his undergraduate studies, Maxwell's intellectual journey continued at Harvard University, where he obtained his Master of Arts degree. His passion for literature and writing led him to briefly teach English at the University of Illinois, where he also served as a faculty advisor to his fraternity. His love for writing extended beyond the classroom, as he published an article about his fraternity in their magazine. But Maxwell's true calling awaited him in the literary hub of New York City. It was there that he would make his mark on the literary world, becoming a renowned writer and editor. His profound understanding of language and storytelling allowed him to craft powerful narratives that touched the hearts of readers worldwide. His literary works, including novels such as, They Came Like Swallows, and, So Long, See You Tomorrow, have become timeless classics, celebrated for their profound exploration of human emotions and experiences. In the early life of William, he faced a tragic loss that would shape his future. Born on August 16, 1908, in Lincoln, Illinois, William Keepers Maxwell Jr. grew up in a loving family. His parents, William and Eva Blossom Maxwell, provided a nurturing environment for their young son. However, tragedy struck during the 1918 flu epidemic when William was just 10 years old. While he survived the illness, his mother sadly did not. With the loss of his mother, William's life took a different turn. He was sent to live with his aunt and uncle in Bloomington, Illinois. But his father, William Sr., remarried and young William eventually rejoined his father in Chicago. There, he attended Sen High School, where he began to develop his love for literature and writing. William's academic journey continued at the University of Illinois, where he excelled in his studies. In 1930, he graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree, achieving the honor of being the class salutatorian. His exceptional academic performance earned him membership in the prestigious Phi Beta Kappa Society. During his time at the university, William also served as the poetry editor of the Daily Illini and was an active member of the Sigma Pi fraternity. Seeking further education and intellectual growth, William pursued a Master of Arts degree at Harvard University. His time at Harvard provided him with valuable insights and expanded his literary horizons. After completing his studies, William briefly taught English at the University of Illinois, where he also served as a faculty advisor to his fraternity. His passion for writing extended beyond the classroom, as he published an article about his fraternity in the fraternity's magazine. However, the vibrant energy of New York City beckoned to William, and he made the decision to move there, embarking on a new chapter in his life. The bustling metropolis would become the backdrop for his greatest literary achievements, but it was his early life experiences and the love of his parents that laid the foundation for his success. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.